battle of San Leonardo is over. Battered and forlorn, the town has been wrested from the enemy and is now securely in the hands of the Canadian troops of the 8th Army. But as the German line moves back, so ours pushes on. On beyond San Leonardo, on toward Ortona. As General Montgomery moves forward with his men, evidence of the fury of the enemy's slow retreat is all around him. Back go the prisoners, among them men of Kessel Ring's 1st Parachute Division. And back go our wounded for treatment by the medical car. In fields and ditches, Canadians sort out the German dead from abandoned tanks, mortars and guns and give them a decent burial. After consolidating their positions, the Canadians begin their drive toward the Ortsonia Ortona Road, passing the wrecked German equipment that littered the highway. One of Hitler's soldiers dies with a picture of his theater beside him. Among the captured equipment was a 75 millimeter self-propelled gun in perfect running condition and well supplied with ammunition. As the service corps brings up ammunition and supplies, the 8th Army continues town by town, hill by hill, advance up the Adriatic coast. tank and the greatest artillery barrage that ever smashed a path for them, the Canadians break across the lateral road to Rome. Marcel Wiemey, CBC News commentator, brings an eyewitness account of this surging struggle as tank after tank crunches forward yard by yard through rubble infested with mines and booby traps. One 
once a fashionable seaside resort, now ruined and desolated, a dead town, but a town where death lurks in every doorway, every window. Patrols inch forward door to door, house to house, corner to corner. A crack of a sniper's bullet, and down goes a comrade. House after house, street after street, the mopping up and cleaning out goes on. After eight days of the bloodiest battle the Canadians have yet participated in, the Germans cling stubbornly to the outer fringe of the bomb crater town. Well trained in street fighting, Canadian patrols are more than a match for the unseen enemy. Hidden, deadly marksmen wait for the slightest move of a field gray form. form on the building, and one less enemy sniper. Running, crouching, constantly moving in bounds, with death lurking at every turn for friend or foe, the Canadian infantrymen continue the mopping up. Rising tempo of the attack reaches its climax, almost fantastic in its fury. The tattoo of the bullets punctuates the thundering tone of the field pieces. Slowly, the Germans are being driven out and back. Blue skies are smeared with the rising pall of destruction. Burning vehicles, oil, the smell of death and cordite everywhere. Shouting and the tumult dies. Artona is won. In the slipstream of every battle is the return of the refugees to their desolated homes. And as the noise of the battle rolls on across the country to the north, the silent, smoldering ruins bear mute testimony to the ferocity of the battle and the harsh price of victory. A victory with freedom and the rights of freedom. Mm -hmm.